Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics, 5th edition, S. Timoshenko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao, Sukumar, Party. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.3, problem number 2.22. An electric fixture of weight Q is equal to 178 newtons is supported as shown in the figure. Determine the tensile forces S1 and S2 in the wires BA and BC if their angles of inclinations are as shown. That means an electrical fixture of weight 178 newtons is supported by two strings AB and BC like this. Our interest is to find the tensile forces in the strings S1 and S2. Before solving this problem, please remember one concept. If any system consisting of strings, cables, struts, ropes, etc., the forces developed inside these are along the axis and it is away from the support. That means if you considered a b string and if you look at from point a the force may be like this and if you look at from point b the force will be like this. Similarly if we consider the string b c if you look at from point c then the force is away from the support and if you look at from point b the force is away from the support. Now let us go to the solution. What are the various forces that are acting on the system? First one as I mentioned the string S1 this is along AB and it is away from point B. My point interest is B because all three are connecting at point B. Similarly the force S2 along string BC and it is away from point B. Similarly, weight of the electric fixture Q and it acts always downwards. Now, let us transfer all these forces onto an XY plane. Let us consider this is my XY plane. Now, I am transferring all these three forces onto this XY plane. First, I am transferring that force S1. Similarly, S2 also I am transferring onto my XY plane and the self weight Q is 178 Newtons. Next most important point is to identify the angles. The Q is acts along the Y axis but the forces S1 and S2 are the inclined forces. Now given that the string AB makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. That means this is also equals to see the same string AB makes 60 degrees with the horizontal. That means this S1 makes 60 degrees with the horizontal like this. Similarly, given that the string BC makes an angle 45 degrees with the vertical. That means this S2 makes an angle 45 degrees with the vertical because it is the same string makes the same angle with the vertical. Clearly we can see the system is subjected to three forces and all three forces are meeting at one particular point and all these three are divergent. So I can apply the concept of sign rule. I prepared a video on sign rule. Please watch it from RK Tutorials. Now, in order to apply the sign rule, we required the angle between the two adjacent. What is the angle between S1 and Q? Since already I know the angle between S1 and X axis is 60 degrees. Hence, the angle between S1 and Q becomes 60 plus 90. That means 150 degrees. 
Similarly, angle between S1 and S2, if this angle is 60 degrees, then the angle made by S1 with the y-axis is 30 degrees. Hence, the angle between S1 and S2 becomes 75 degrees. Similarly, the S2 makes an angle 45 degrees with the y-axis, hence the S2 makes an angle another 45 degrees with the x-axis. Now, the angle between S2 and the vertical becomes 45 plus 90, that is equal to 135 degrees. Now, I can apply the sine rule comfortably. Now, according to that sine rule, the force Q divided by angle between this 75, so Q divided by sine 75, Q divided by sine 75 is equal to S1 divided by angle between the other two forces. What is the other two forces? S2 and Q. What is the angle between these two? 135. Hence, S1 by 135. That is equal to S2 divided by angle between the other two forces. What is the other two forces? S1 and Q. What is the angle between S1 and Q? 150. So, sine of 150. S2 divided by sine 150. All these three values are same. S1 by sine 135, S2 by sine 150, that is equal to Q. Q means 178 divided by sine 75. Now, I can use these two equations. That means S1 is equal to 178 by sine 75 into sine 135, which gives the value of 130.3 newtons. That is the answer. That is the tension force in the string AB is 130.3 newtons. Similarly, by considering these two, S2 yes, I can write 178 by sine 75 into sine 150, which gives the value of 92.14 newtons. These two are the answers for this problem. Now, the same problem we can also solve by using the method of resolution. How a force is to be resolved? I already prepared a video, so please watch it in RK tutorial. Now, this is the free body diagram at point B. There are three forces Q, S1, S2 and all the angles are mentioned 150, 75 and 135. Now, the force Q, since it is acting along y-axis, it will be taken as it is. Now, the force S1 makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. So, this force I can resolve along x-axis and y-axis. So, what is the x-axis component? S1 into cos 60 because S1 makes 60 degrees with the x-axis. So, there is a force S1 cos 60. And there is a force along y-axis that is S1 sin 60. Similarly, that S2 force makes an angle 45 degrees with the y-axis. So, I can resolve this force along x and y-axis like this. And what is the y component here? It is S2 cos 45. The reason is S2 makes an angle 45 with the y-axis. Hence, y component becomes cos. So, horizontal component is S2 sin 45, vertical component is S2 cos 45. Now, I can apply the equilibrium equation, sigma fx is equal to 0. What are the forces acting along x-axis? Two forces, S1 cos 60 and S2 sin 45. That means I can write S1 cos 60 is equal to S2 sin 45 and from that, cos 60 is 0.5, sin 45 is 0.707. So, I can get one equation, S1 is equal to 1.414 S2. Now, take sigma Fy is equal to 0. There are three forces acting along y-axis. I will consider the upward direction is positive. Hence, S1 sin 60 plus S2 cos 45 is equal to the downward direction force that is 178 newtons. Now, 
sin 60 cos, uh, cos 45 i can substitute the corresponding values then i will get 0 0.8661 and 707 s2 is equal to 178 now this is equation 1 i got s1 is equal to 1.414 s2 and this is the equation 2 what i got from sigma y is equal to 0, 0.866 s1 point seven zero seven s2 is equal to 178 by solving these two that means substitute s1 value here then i will get like this 0 0.866 into 1.414 s2 plus 0 0.707 s2 is equal to 178 and upon simplifying this i will get s2 is equal to 92.14 newtons since i know the value of s2 i can substitute in equation 1 and i can calculate s1 and s1 is 1.414 into s2 s2 means 92.14 Upon su substituting this, I can calculate S1, 130.3 newtons. These two are the answers for this one.